Where are those people in a line going? Huh? But something is strange. The Golden Goose. Once upon a time, there lived a man who had three sons. One day, the eldest son went into the forest to cut firewood. So his mother gave him some sweet cake and a bottle of wine. He met a gray-haired old dwarf in the forest. Hello, young man. I'm very hungry and thirsty. Please give me some of your sweet cake and wine from your bottle. There is not enough food even for myself, so I surely don't have any food for you. The eldest son parted ways with the old dwarf and began to cut down a tree. But soon he cut himself and hurt his arm. Whoa! My arm! The eldest son couldn't do anything but go back home. The next day, the second son went into the forest to cut firewood. He also met the gray-haired old dwarf. Young man, I'm so hungry and thirsty. Please give me some of your cake and wine, will you? Give you my cake and wine? No, I won't. If I give you some of mine, then I'll have less to eat for myself. The second son didn't give the old dwarf anything either. The second son was cutting down a tree, missed the tree with his axe, and hurt his foot. Oh, oh, oh my, my foot, my foot. The second son also couldn't cut any more firewood and had to come back home like the eldest son. When both brothers got hurt, the youngest son said that he was going to go cut firewood. Then the mother and the two brothers laughed at the youngest son. <laughs> <laughs> what? Even we couldn't do it. And now you're saying that you can? That fool says he is going to go cut firewood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can do it. Let me go, please. In the end, the mother gave him only some dry bread and a bottle of sour beer. When the youngest son was cutting down a tree, the old dwarf showed up and asked him for some food. The kind-hearted youngest son willingly opened his bag. But what had happened? In his bag were delicious sweet cake and a bottle of wine. Huh? It's very strange. Well, anyway, help yourself. Thank you very much, young man. The youngest son and the dwarf shared the cake and wine and ate and drank with much pleasure. The dwarf told the youngest son to cut down the old tree standing next to them. When the youngest cut down that tree and it fell, he discovered a goose sitting inside with feathers of pure gold. Wow! It's a golden goose. The youngest son was so pleased and left the forest with the golden goose under his arms. It was getting dark and the youngest son decided to stay for the night in an inn. The owner of the inn had three daughters. When the eldest daughter saw the golden goose, she wanted to pluck one of its golden feathers. At the moment, the eldest daughter was secretly pulling out a feather. Her fingers and hand 
instantly stuck onto the golden goose. Good heavens! Help me! Help! Get me off this goose! Then her two sisters quickly came and tried to take her off the goose. But the moment they touched the eldest daughter, they two stuck fast to her. What? What is going on? Oh my! What can I do? The next day, the youngest son carried the golden goose under his arms and left the inn. Of course, the three daughters also followed him in a line, hanging on to the golden goose. Then a preacher was passing by, saw this unusual sight, and came over to them. What in the world are you all doing? No, 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 no. The preacher held the youngest daughter by the hand and tried to pull her away. But instead, his hand stuck fast onto the youngest daughter's back. Just then, a farmer arrived. Preacher, where are you going? No, no, stay away! Oh, keep away! Oh, oh! The farmer's hand also stuck onto the preacher's back. That way, people started to stick onto the line one by one, and the line became longer and longer. On the other hand, in this country, there was a princess who never laughed. The king was always worried about her and kept sighing. <sighs> How could I make my little princess laugh? The king announced, Whoever makes the princess laugh, he will be the king's son-in-law. Then, Many young men visited the palace and tried to make the princess laugh. But so far, no one has ever made her laugh. The youngest son, who was carrying the golden goose, happened to pass by the palace. The train of the people was all sticking together, walking along one behind the other keeping their steps together so as not to bump against each other. Just at that time, the princess happened to see that funny sight. The youngest son with his golden goose and all its train. Oh, look at that! Everybody's walking in a funny way! <laughs> the princess laughed merrily for a long time. The king was very pleased to see the princess laughing gaily. But he didn't want the youngest son to marry the princess because he looked so poor. If you bring somebody who can eat all the cake in the palace and drink all the bottles of wine in the palace, then you can marry the princess. The youngest son went for help to the gray-haired old dwarf in the forest. But there was a big man sitting on the stump of the tree where the golden goose had come out from. Hello! Have you got some food? I just devoured a mountain of cake and a big cask of wine, but I'm still hungry. Is that right? Then follow me, please. The youngest son took the man to the palace. The big man ate up all the cake and drank all the wine in the palace as quick as a flash. How is this, my king? The king still didn't like the youngest son and gave him another challenge. Bring the ship which can move both on the water and on the ground. 
then you can marry the princess. The youngest son went to the forest again and looked for the old dwarf. Let me help you once again. The big man who ate all the cake and drank all the wine was the very dwarf. The dwarf gave him the ship which could move both on the water and on the ground. Since the youngest son had brought the ship, the king couldn't help but marry the princess to the youngest son. Sometime later, the king died, and the youngest son became the king and lived a long and happy life with the princess. Imagine the people being stuck onto the golden goose and walking in a line. Even if I were the princess, I couldn't have helped but laugh. 